Earth has been hiding treasures beneath its surface that are almost unbelievable until you see them. From vampire graves to a church chapel, these discoveries will leave your jaw dropped. Terracotta Army It all began on March 1974 when young Jifa, a local farmer, along with his five brothers and a neighbor, were digging for a well near Mount Li in Shanxi Province, China. During their search for water, they stumbled upon a life-sized clay soldier standing as if ready for battle. They quickly notified the authorities about this unusual find, and the government dispatched a team of archaeologists to investigate. What they found was unbelievable. They unearthed the largest group of pottery figurines ever discovered. The pit contained thousands of clay soldiers and other figures. So who placed them there? It was China's first emperor. This army of clay was buried with him as funerary art meant to help him in the afterlife. Believing these soldiers would assist him after death, he wasn't lenient about getting the army ready. Soon after he got onto the throne, he ordered the construction of the mausoleum and this massive army, which reportedly involved more than 700,000 laborers. And if you're wondering why so many workers were needed, it is because over 8,000 soldiers were created, each one unique. Some are bald, some have moustaches, and they all have different physical features and uniforms indicating their ranks. Yes, you heard it right, this clay army has a whole hierarchy along with troops, which includes armored officers, kneeling archers, and infantrymen. It's not just warriors, though. They also found life-sized figures of chariots, horses, cavalry, and even non-military statues like acrobats and musicians. Now, the underground site has been excavated, and a museum complex has been built, making it a major tourist attraction. Although excavation work has stopped, experts believe there are still more parts of the Terracotta Army buried, continuing to safeguard the first emperor of China. Catacombs of Paris When talking about Paris, most people think of two things, the Eiffel Tower and the romantic atmosphere that earned it the nickname City of Love. But more than 20 meters beneath the streets lies a 300 kilometer wide network of tunnels with a haunting history. Known as the Catacombs of Paris, these underground caves and tunnels served as osheries and held the remains of more than six million people. They were created due to the overflowing cemeteries in Paris, which caused sanitary issues. Bodies were exhumed from graves and transferred to the tunnels, where now the skulls and femurs are disturbingly arranged along the tunnel walls. Today, only a one and a half kilometer section of the catacombs is open to the public, while the rest remains restricted for good reason. Much of the catacombs are unexplored and unexcavated, forming a dark maze where one could easily get lost among the human skeletons. Despite the danger, some people still venture deep into the catacombs, often with tragic outcomes. One of the most chilling stories involves explorers who found an old camera in the catacombs. The footage from the camera showed a man alone, deep inside, recording human bones and picking up skull fragments. As the video continues, he starts to panic, realizing he is lost. Where he is now, nobody knows. His case, along with many other disappearances, remains unsolved, serving as a reminder to listen to the authorities' warnings and avoid places humans are no longer meant to go. Mammoth Bones in 2010, this Iowa man was in the forest area behind his house with his two kids, hunting for blueberries, when one of his sons noticed what he thought was a ball. But as they got closer, John realized it was something much bigger. He started removing the soil around it, and with excitement, told his kids it was a bone, and that too, a very big one. After a struggle and some digging, he pulled out a four-meter-long bone, that looked like a femur and took it back home. For two years, he didn't tell anyone about it until he realized he might need help to dig out the rest of the bones of this big creature. 
so he contacted the University of Iowa. Researchers confirmed the bone was from a woolly mammoth from the Ice Age and helped excavate more of John's property. Within a few days, they unearthed 30 more bones, including vertebrae and ribs. Since the bones were found on John's property, he had the option to keep them, and he was more than happy to stack the bones of the giants who once roamed that area in his living room. He kept them for years, but eventually decided to hand them over to the Mahaska County Conservation Board for educational purposes. Using the data from the bones found on John's property, a replica of the mammoth was made. In June 2023, the replica of the woolly mammoth was revealed to the public and is still on display at the Educational Learning Center in Oskaloosa, Iowa. Magical Cave Every country has something unique, but what lies in the Waitemo Caves of New Zealand is so unbelievable that if not recorded on camera, you wouldn't believe it. Adorned with spectacular limestone structures developed around 30 million years ago when the area was still under the ocean and a whole underground river system, the caves are a wonder on their own. However, it's the glowworm's magic of lighting up cave walls with bluish-green glow which makes travelling through them feel like floating in a fantasy outer space surrounded by shimmering stars and shooting meteors. While glowworms can be found all over the world, these particular organisms are unique. The Arachnocampa luminosa, native only to New Zealand, are not actually worms. They resemble mosquitoes in their adult form. Before becoming flying insects, their eggs hatch into cylindrical larvae that attach themselves to the cave ceilings and spin silk nests. This light show isn't just for beauty, it's a hunting strategy. The larvae's glow attracts prey, which gets stuck in their silk nests. The larvae then devour the prey alive. Visitors to the caves, hoping to glimpse this magical natural light show, must stay quiet and embrace the darkness. These tiny creatures are sensitive to noise and will stop glowing if they feel threatened. Vampire Graves Vampires today are seen as fictional creatures, often depicted as unrealistically good-looking with sharp canine teeth and a thirst for blood. However, back in the 17th century, the idea of vampires was quite different and people genuinely believed in them. Unlike the modern concept of becoming an immortal vampire through a bite in a dark, romantic setting, post-medieval Polish folklore described vampires as those who died untimely deaths or before being baptized. These individuals were thought to return as undead, causing mischief and even fatalities. When it was time to bury these unfortunate souls, people took steps to ensure that if the dead were possessed by an evil entity, their bodies would be locked up so they couldn't escape the grave. One common practice was to place an iron padlock on the foot of the deceased. Recently, archaeologists discovered the grave of a woman who had not only a padlock on her foot, but also a sickle placed over her neck. This was placed in such a manner that if she tried to rise, the sickle would decapitate or injure her. Cave Art There are numerous caves that serve as natural art museums, but the caves in the high desert of New Mexico are breathtaking for different reasons. They owe their splendor to Ra Paulette, a man with a passion for digging into hillsides and sculpting elaborate spaces inside mountains, where each wall is a unique art piece. Paulette finds inspiration in the underground environment and the way light streams in, motivating him to continue his work without any professional training or assistance. He devotes several hundred hours to each project, creating environments that are both beautiful and complicated. This small and gloomy opening might stop claustrophobic people from entering the cave, but what lies within will remove all the fear of tight spaces. A massive sandstone sculpture of a tree illuminated by a skylight leaves visitors awestruck. It's unbelievable to comprehend that Paulette accomplished all this alone without any advanced tools. 
cave of crystals. Now we have a place that looks like a magical world, but would kill you if you tried to stay there. This is the cave of crystals, buried almost 300 meters beneath the Earth's surface. It was discovered by chance when two miners were drilling a tunnel in the Naika mountain mine for ventilation purposes. What they found was a huge horse-shaped cave filled with foggy white crystals. These crystals are made of selenite gypsum and are massive, some reaching up to 11 meters in length and one meter in width. Despite their soft material, which can be scratched with a fingernail, each crystal can weigh up to 50 tons. However, most spectacular natural views come with a dangerous price. For this cave, it's the extremely high temperatures, exceeding 50 degrees Celsius and humidity levels of up to 100%. The high temperatures are due to the cave being situated above a chamber of hot, molten rock. Entering this cave, even with a protective suit, can cause heat stroke within minutes or less. So, how did these crystals come into being? A long while ago, the cave was filled with mineral-rich water which stayed stable for like half million years. The high temperatures caused the abundant mineral and hydrite to dissolve into gypsum, forming the crystals we see today. While it's neither easy nor safe to visit these caves, fortunately, we have footage to witness the surreal beauty of this natural wonder safely. Dungeon. Buying a studio apartment and discovering it has a secret hidden room sounds exciting, right? I mean, getting two rooms for the price of one is like hitting the jackpot. But what this guy found in his new home is straight out of a horror movie. He recorded a tour of his new apartment and then opened a trap door that wasn't mentioned in the lease. At first, it seemed like normal underfloor storage. Well, no. He spotted a sketchy staircase leading down to the basement. Now, if horror movies have taught me anything, it is to not go down scary basements. But like any horror movie protagonist, the guy decided to check it out. As he ventured down and realized it was a dungeon bigger than his apartment. He found graffiti on the walls, indicating that this dungeon had some occupants at some point. Then he discovered a bed made of brick with sacrificial pottery nearby. The guy kept exploring the dungeon and even found a newspaper from 1984. Although he made it back safely, the eerie appearance of the whole dungeon had me thinking a ghost was going to jump out at any moment. Roman dodecahedrons. More than 250 years ago, humans unearthed something unusual, a bronze object with 12 faces and circular holes of different diameters. Since then, more than a hundred similar objects have been found, mostly in the northern regions of the Roman Empire, specifically Gaul and Roman Germany. All of these objects date back to the third century or earlier during the Roman Empire. Hence, they are called Roman dodecahedrons. However, their purpose remains unknown. These hollow objects with perfect outer edges and knobs at the corners are a puzzle we haven't figured out yet. Despite their widespread presence, the known history of the Roman Empire makes no mention of them, even though they were relatively common. Modern theories about their purpose are varied and speculative. Some people today have tried using them as knitting tools and found them effective, but historical evidence shows that such tools were not used until the 16th century, making this unlikely. The Eternal Cheese did you know that France holds the top spot for cheese consumption, with the average person eating 57.9 pounds per year? Who doesn't love cheese, right? It turns out even ancient Egyptians were fond of it. Archaeologists excavating a tomb at Saqqara, near Cairo, Egypt, discovered a solidified whitish mass. When they sent it for testing in a lab, it turned out to be cheese. So yes, you are looking at the oldest cheese in the world, dating back 3,200 years. Scientists are positive that it was made mostly from cow's and goat's milk. But how does it taste? Well, no matter how much of a cheese fan you are, it's best not to find out. 
Church of Bones. Kutna Hora, a medieval city just 70 kilometers away from the capital of the Czech Republic, is designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Among its beautiful architecture exists a church that is not for the faint-hearted. Compared to all the churches in this countryside town, this one might appear unassuming, but what lies in its basement is truly eerie. Once you go down the small staircase in this Roman Catholic church, you enter the Sedlec Ossuary, which is decorated with more than 40,000 human skeletons. The story behind how so many bones ended up in this small chapel begins in the 13th century. The King of Bohemia sent an abbot to Jerusalem, and he claimed to have brought back a jar with soil from the site of the crucifixion of Jesus Christ spreading the holy soil around the local graveyard. When the news spread, people from all over requested to be buried there. By the 15th century, the cemetery was overloaded, and to make room for new graves, they exhumed these skeletons, which were stacked in the basement for almost four centuries. Then, a woodcarver named Frantisek Rint was appointed to make something out of them, and what he did with the bones was shocking. The underground chapel features a chandelier of bones along with garlands of human skulls. The chapel is full of wall art made of bones, showcasing how much effort and dedication Rint put into making this unique art. However, it's not all about decoration. There are also religious displays arranged out of bones to remind visitors that this is still a respectful place of worship. Rint even signed his name on a wall using bones after his work was done. Fairy Coffins Next, we have a discovery that remains Scotland's biggest mystery to this day. In 1836, a group of teenagers was hiking through Arthur's Seat in Edinburgh when they stumbled upon an unusual hidden treasure. Seventeen miniature coffins, each containing a miniature figure resembling a tiny human form. These finely carved coffins and precisely crafted figures show incredible levels of detail, including carved clothes, facial characteristics, and even hair with great precision. Anyone who looked at these tiny objects couldn't help but be impressed by their unknown creator's skill. The origin and purpose of these coffins remain a mystery to experts and researchers alike. Even advanced radiocarbon dating techniques have not been able to determine the age of these coffins. One popular theory is that these were fairy coffins, linked to the deep-rooted belief in fairies in Scottish culture during the 1800s, created as tributes to gain their protection and blessings. Another theory suggests they might have been symbolic funerals for people who died far from home or memorials, for children who passed away at a young age. But why were they abandoned in such a remote place? Some experts believe they might have been involved in something sinister, like witchcraft or sketchy rituals, where the coffins served as symbolic representations. The list of theories goes on, but none can be proven or entirely dismissed, making these objects, known as the fairy coffins, a mystery destined to remain unsolved for eternity. Underground Garden How do you escape the scorching summer sun and cool yourself down in extreme heat? You probably think of air conditioners, but they weren't around in the early 1900s when a 27-year-old man named Baldassare Forestier immigrated from Sicily to Fresno, California, where it gets extremely hot. To escape the summer heat, he dug a small cellar and found it very effective and comfortable. Inspired by this discovery, he started carving out more rooms and eventually made himself a proper home. Not only did the underground keep him cool during the summer, but he also realized that his dream of growing a farm of citrus trees, which he thought was impossible in Fresno's hardpan soil, could become a reality. The soil beneath the surface was more suitable so he began experimenting and found great success. Now known as Forestiera Underground Gardens, 
This extraordinary structure boasts 65 rooms, including a summer bedroom, a winter bedroom, a bath, and even a fish pond, along with many other features one would want in a dream house. Remarkably, he accomplished all of this without any professional training or modern tools and entirely on his own. For 40 years, Forestier worked patiently, crafting a subterranean complex of patios, grottos, and garden courts, all featuring arches and stonework using the local hardpan sedimentary rock. Rattlesnake Nest A YouTuber named Michael Delaney has a knack for filming rattlesnakes and other wildlife. In one video, he decided to fly his drone over a burrow occupied by not just one or two, but several dozen rattlesnakes, all blending with the brown soil and sliding over each other. The sound of these snakes rattling is absolutely terrifying. Did you know these snakes can rattle their tails at 90 times per second? That's more than the wing beats of a hummingbird. That's the wrap on our chilling journey through unbelievable moments recorded underground and some amazing archaeological discoveries. What are your thoughts on these crazy finds? Which discovery did you find most interesting? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this coming your way. Let us know what you would like us to explore next. Until next time, goodbye.